arms extended beside the body so the arm is not bent in other words so this is for sure not a royal position next up is unknown woman a the screaming mummy the images of the twisted corpse still have the power to shock even three and a half thousand years after her death the scans show that her jaw is intact in other words her expression now is the same as when she died a terrible head wound an agonized scream. For Ashraf, there is one inescapable conclusion. We believe that this mummy died uh, in this position. I mean, she was screaming or scared or whatever. And talking about the wound on the back of her head, this might be a sign of murder. <laughs> The only way a pharaoh leaves the throne is by dying. Some took their time, and some were hurried to their grave. If this is Hatshepsut, there's now a reason to believe she may have been murdered. As Ashraf and Hani move methodically through their analysis, the archaeological team is still trying to understand who may have wanted Hatshepsut out of the way. An answer may come from an unexpected place. While excavating in the massive Karnak complex, Dr. Betsy Bryan has made a startling new find. An inscription on the buried statue of one of Hatshepsut's priests may hold an answer. It's a plea to the gods on her behalf for protection from her enemies. It is addressed to the goddess awakening her in her lioness form, asking for her to slaughter the enemies of Hatshepsut or the people who did not like her. It's a rare admission of fear from a sitting pharaoh. 